Clementine? Are you here? Clemmy? Where are you, Clemmy? Man, I am not afraid to take a hatchet to the side of your head, buddy. You don't give me back Clementine. I heard a noise. Someone's in there. Get your hatchet at the ready. Clemmy? Who the fuck are you? I got us adjoining rooms. Hi. Hello. Okay. This is Sybil. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Yeah, I've had a pretty Go shitty day. Don't you point that gun at me. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Mm. Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Alright. Put... Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down. Alright. Jeez. So pushy. Man, I don't like your attitude, bro. Do you know who I am? No. No fucking clue. No. No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest. <gasps> oh! All sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Oh, we took his food! Yeah. I'm not some cannibal, V. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I'm sorry, Lane. bro. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. Do for you the taking? Do you know what you took from me? I'm sorry. Whatever it is, whatever happened. You have to hear that I'm sorry. That doesn't mean anything to me. Okay. I wish it did. I'm not a bad man. I don't believe in vengeance. But I've got nothing left. It doesn't have to be this have way. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Not on purpose. Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her. So bad. You're talking about your wife? My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. Then you Sorry took about what all happened. Our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. A 
I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? We all do. We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You let that little girl get fed disgusting human meat. It was more complicated than that. I did my best. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. You weren't there. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us. We were starving. It was cold. So my family starved in the cold! You would have done the same shit for your family. Don't act like you wouldn't have. How could you know all this? He was talking to Clementine on the walkie-talkie. You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. You can shoot me. It doesn't have to be this way. You can't take care of anyone. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Our? Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. So you think just because she's with you... That... It'll be better? You don't That's think you'll... Happening. You think you're invincible it's to all the crazy. zombies? Keeping her with you is crazy. You're fucking insane. You'll have to kill me. Yeah. I know. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. The fuck? Are you... <gasps> is that a head? I'm glad to. That's fucking disgusting. He's crazy. Clement. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> Get away from me, you crazy motherfucker! I'm not letting you take Clementine! Beat his fucking ass! You wanna take Clementine from me, you motherfucker? Is that what you want? I'm about to whip that monkey ass! What the fuck? Son of a bitch! Just go away! How about you just go away? Nice shot, Clemmy! I'm sorry you had to shoot him, Clementine. He was crazy. It's alright. Oh my god, look how pale he is. It's okay. It's okay. I... 
Your arm's gone. I know. Why? <laughs> That's so scary. I had an accident. We'll talk about it somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Smell like zombie guts. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Clam. It's, it's alright. Okay. He he told you, you he had to your parents. Safe. He tricked you, talk, I know. Okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. What a bastard. Need to figure out how to Telling get out her her parents are there. Does it have any bolts in it? Or is the clip empty? Hey. You saved me. It's my fault. Everything is dangerous. Like you said. It's okay. You learn. His wife's head is still Jesus. moving! I know. All right. Come on, Clementine. I got to get you out of here to old meeting Krista. <laughs> oh no. I'm one of them now. Buster. You're covered in all that gross stuff. I had to get through a bunch of them to get here. Oh. That's how we'll get out of Savannah. Oh no. We're gonna have to put its guts on, aren't we? Just like that scene from the Walking Dead show. Ugh. Oh no. <laughs> She's like, I don't want it. No. <laughs> Clementine, don't worry. It doesn't smell that bad, does it? Okay, maybe it does. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna have to rub his guts on you. It's I know it's gross, so bear with it. I'm sorry, Clementine. Are you done? A little more. I wanna be sure. Be all nice and gooey. So you can there. get through the zombies. That should do it. I hope so. Where's your hat, Clemmy? And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. <laughs> you're so cute, Clemmy. Even when you're Stay covered right in guts. Next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm hmm. Be brave, Clemmy. What's in the bag? Lee's not moving too fast anymore. This is not good. Don't you fucking bump shoulders with me? Where's your manners?
What's wrong, Clemmy? Is that her parents? Oh, fuck. You gotta be kidding. Shit. I'm not gonna make it that much longer. Clemmy. Clemmy, where are you? Lee, wake up. Please don't be dead. Please, no. Lee. He's I so, was so pale. Scared. I, I, I thought you left me. I. I. Clemmy. I my parents. I know. I know. They didn't get to you, right? No. Well, we got away. They're dead for sure. Clementine, we have to get out of here as fast as we can. Well, we can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, them. No, 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 that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Do it! He knows he's changing and he doesn't want her to get stuck in there with him. He doesn't want it. It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Pull on three. One. Two. Three. See? We gotta get Clementine away Clementine. from us. Buddy. My arm is gone because I cut it off. Why would you do that? Because I was bit clear. Please, no. No. Oh, no. But that's not true. Yes, it is. It's gonna be okay. You are gonna be okay. We just have to think and work together. Okay. Like Batman and Robin, remember? Right. We're in a jewelry store, it looks like. I... I think there might be a way out over there. He's just chilling. Good. Good girl. Let's go. I might be a little slow. I'll help you. Alright. We gotta... Tr we gotta keep trucking. Keep pushing through so we can get Clementine out of here. I got you. You can lean on me if you have to. I'm okay. I'm I, okay. Sorry, Clem. I, I can't I do that. I was hoping by bringing you in here. Oh, you did, honey. It's awful out there. But I wanted to be a... It was hard. I don't know how you did it. But you did good. Okay? Keep going. All right. We're almost there. <laughs> Get up, Lee. The door is right here. I know. Come on, Lee. Come on. You have to do it for Clementine. <clears throat> Come on. <laughs> You have to. Liam, I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please try to get up. Clemmy, I'll try for you. Come on. He can't do it. He doesn't have enough strength left. You don't have much time. You gotta do something fast. Like what? You're gonna have to make sure I don't turn. You won't, though. Liam, I will. You know what you have to do. No, I can't. Clem, you have There's to. There's no way.
We'll figure it all out. Don't worry. There's a baseball bat. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. Go get that cop's gun. There's a chair over there. Use the bat to shatter that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. All right. Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. Yes, it. You're smarter than all of them. All right. You can do it, Clem. Grab the chair, Clem. Use it to reach in to the lock. Okay. Get the cop's gun. This will be easy then. He's got keys. Probably to that door. And everything you need. The handcuff is on the ground. Get them. Handcuff me. Okay. So I can't get to you, Clemmy. This is so sad. No. <laughs> God damn zombie! Put the handcuffs on me. Attach me to this. But why? No matter what happens, you're safe then. Uh, I don't know. Just do it, sweetie. Make sure they're tight. I don't... I don't want to do this. You have to. It'll keep you safe. You only have to deal with the good He's trapped over there. Be careful. Get what you need from him. The keys. He need the gun. The keys and the gun. Just don't be afraid. If anything gets dangerous, you're faster than he is. What should I get first? Get the gun first. Get the gun, Clem. Always the gun. Be careful. Shit! No, 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 no! Fuck! Grab it! Watch out! Fuck! Oh, God! <coughs> get, get the bat, Clem! Hit him again! Oh, my God. You can do it, Clem! You can do it! I did it. I got him. You did it. Great, Clem. Good job. She got the gun and the keys now. Walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know. 
Oh, if you don't want me to be a walker, you're gonna have to shoot me, Carl. I don't know if I can. You have to. You have to shoot me, honey. Lee, no. It's okay. It's okay. Clem, I was standing over Doc holding that gun. It was so hard. I'm sorry you're in that position now. I'd give anything for you not to be. But you just have to point it at me. Close your eyes and be thankful you never have to see me as one of them. You can do it. I know you can. I believe in you, Clem. Okay, Lee. I can do it. I I can. Find a group. Try to find a group of good people. Look for someone like Kaja with them. You know what I mean? Someone nice. Yes. That's how you know. If you don't see anyone like that, run. <laughs> and Clem. Keep, Keep that hair short. I will. I'll cut it myself. Great. Good. And also... Oh, no, Lee! You can't do this to me, Lee! What? What is it? No, don't worry. Alright. I'll miss you. Me too. All right, Clemmy. Oh my God, I'm crying. <laughs> no. You have to do it, Clemmy. I know it hurts. <laughs> Aim for the head, Clemmy. Okay, so 71% of players removed Lee's arms. You and 74% of players lost your temper with Kenny when he was trying to convince them to kill me. You and 59% of other players surrendered your weapons. Okay. You and 57% of players didn't kill the stranger. Oh, there was an option not to kill him? Oh, I didn't know. Okay. You and 63% of players made sure Lee didn't turn. So, oh, there, so there was an option that he could turn? If I just told Clementine to run, Lee would have turned? That would have been fucked up. I didn't want Clementine to see that. I didn't even know that that was an option. Okay, well, I, it looks like I did what majority of people would do, but I don't know. I, I, I don't, did I lose my temper with Kenny? I don't think, I thought I tried to stay calm for m most of that, but. Maybe I did, I don't know. I don't remember. Okay, so. Oh, what's this? You defended his son in the drugstore. You told him about your past. You killed his son so he didn't have to. And in exchange for that, he lost. You killed his son so he didn't have to. He was lost to the herd trying to save Krista. Oh, is this like an, a cause and effect thing? So, he tried to save Krista because I was nice to him and I helped his family. So he became a hero. Oh, wow. Let's see, you attempted to give her food at the motor inn. You found water for Duck. She shot herself when faced with her son's death. So because I helped Duck, she killed herself? Would she not have killed herself otherwise? What the fuck? So I killed Katja by helping Duck. Fuck. But what was I supposed to do? <laughs> oh, Larry. <laughs> Rest in peace. Larry died in the meat locker at the dairy. <laughs> Would he have survived otherwise? You called her a bitch when you first met. You backed her up when supplies went missing. You left her on the side of the road. You chose to reveal your past to her. 
that is completely out of order. I don't know. If if I would have kept her, what would have happened? She shot somebody. And Duck was bitten. Once she found out Duck was bitten, she would have fucking flipped out. So, yeah. You bonded with him over U.S. history. You helped him get onto the train. You were separated after you crossed the sign. You left him in Clem's... You left him in Clem's care before Crawford. Okay, that's not in order either. <clears throat> you dropped Ben from the Bell Tower. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ben. Oh, Ben. Uh, you trusted her with your past. You saved her life at the cost of another. She was killed by Lily. Can I stop? Oh, no. Carly. Carly. Bay, no. Why Carly? Could I have, like, if I would have done something different with Lily, could I have stopped her from killing Carly? And we could have kept Carly with us? You met her on your worst days thus far. You revealed your bite to her. You told her and Omid to meet you at the train. Okay. You were with him when you found your brother. He died when walkers attacked the drugstore. You helped save his life at Herschel's farm. You argued that he was not bitten back in Macon. You shot him before he could turn, and you let him be your sidekick. To Robin! Robin! Ducky Robin! Rest in peace! <laughs> All right, guys, that's the end of the last episode of The Walking Dead. That was a great fucking game. The story was pretty, pretty epic. I enjoyed that a lot. I will probably play the next season after. So this will be continued. But anyway, if you guys liked the video, please leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what was your favorite part and what were your favorite characters. And do you think are there some better choices I could have made? And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.